believe that it's time for us to equip and empower parents, students, and community leaders yes. with opportunities to participate in educational yes. reform. Yes. We, we've talked long enough, yes. we've studied long enough, we know what's going on, so now it's time for somebody to make a decision yes. to take some action. I would rather have my money go to educating these children than then go to finding places for them in the penal system later. Yeah. Yeah. It's my money, my choice. My money, my choice. Uh, when I was a kid growing up in Southwest Baltimore, I essentially won the lottery and I got a, a scholarship to an all boys Episcopalian school and, uh, and had my life saved there. There are lots of kids who are just like me, um, who did not win the lottery, and for whom no one is thinking about having a lottery. I, I see children, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, that cannot read. I see children fill out job applications, can't even write, can't even spell. Give the parents the opportunity for the money to follow the student. Oh, we're paying the tax uh, dollars, we're putting it out there, so let the money follow the child. The money I pay and taxes for her education should go where she goes. That's right. If she wants to pursue a Christian lifestyle, she should be free to take Jesus wherever she wants to go. Yeah. Kansas Educational Freedom Movement believes simply that it's your children, your responsibility, your taxes, and your decision. Families benefit from school choice because parents have the opportunity to choose a learning environment that is best suited to their student without being penalized for choosing a school not operated by the government. I have the distinct privilege of being uh, part of founding the first charter school in Kansas City, Kansas, USD 500. That charter school lived for less than two years. If you have to be approved for a school by the very school district or school board that sees you in direct competition that will make them look bad because you succeed, we have a problem. We have a problem. Out of free markets come competition, and competition is a good thing. That's right. Why is it that we can't have competition in school? Right. Why is that? 23 empirical studies have examined school choices' impact on public schools. 22 of them say that where school choice exists, achievement increases in public schools as well. This is a way to help not only the individual students who need it the most, who, for whom the system does not work, but it helps the students who are left behind in the public schools as well. It helps every student in this state. This work is about changing the culture of education, which means success for a greater number of our students. I believe that we should reform education so that they don't even know what welfare is. They gotta understand that if we do not pass these laws, We'll see more of our children fail. We'll see more of our children in the penal system. We'll see more of our children committing crimes. We'll see more of our families going to the graveyards and burying our children. We need them to